to show you how to turn this stool into a beautiful um, antique elm stool. And it's going to be, mine costed under $20, but I'll link down below the cheapest ones that I found for you um, so that you can do it as well. First thing you need is some tools. So you're going to need a drill with a little wire brush. Um, you're going to need some kind of saw. Now if you don't have a tool like this, you can use a handheld, but it is easier to use one that's electric. And um, you will need a sander. Let's begin. Oh, do not forget your safety glasses. <laughs> okay, first thing you want to do is destroy it. So you want to cut off just um, random pieces there and here and make it look like it went through like my husband said World War II. Alright. Alright, don't worry about the rough edges because that's what we're going to use our sander with. We're going to sand it down so that it's nice and smooth. Alright, so now that it's all sanded down, you can see all the little grooves that you made. Um, I smoothed out the little cuts that I made there and here. Um, I think that I'm going to sand it down just a little more because it's kind of rough. Um, but this is what it's going to look like. And then we're going to use the wire brush and I'll so show you how in just a second. So now it's time for the fun part. Um, you use your wire brush, and the reason why we use wire brush is because it gives it that natural driftwood look. So now I'm gonna just show you how how to use it.
those nice grooves in. So now that it's done and we, um, we use the wire brush to give it that texture, uh, we can go ahead and stain. We are using the stain from Home Depot, it's called Weathered Gray. Um, now you can use any stain you want, but we just like that um, darker vintage color. And once the stain dries, we're going to use a dark vintage wax. Um, and you'll see once we're done with this what we're going to do. So you just want to take a paintbrush. Go ahead and just start brushing. Um, you don't want too much because you don't want that color. Um, you want that natural color to seep through as well. So using a brush makes it easier. Once it dries, it will dry a different color, so do not freak out if it's too gray for you. It's going to dry in a lighter, nicer shade. Okay, so now that the stain is on, we're going to let it dry, and as soon as it's dry, um, we're going to put on the wax. So you have to make sure that it's not sticky at all, it has to be dry all the way through. Okay, so now that the stain is on, we're going to let it dry, and as soon as it's dry, um, we're going to put on the wax. So you have to make sure that it's not sticky at all, it has to be dry all the way through. Alrighty, now that it's all dry, and you can, um, you know, you can feel that it's dry, it's not sticky anywhere, you can now take your wax, and this is the one that we're using, it is the dark antique. So what you want to do is just take a wax brush like this, dip it in slightly because a little goes a long way. You don't want to put too much because that's not the look that we're going for. So let me show you what we're going to be doing here. You want to just spread it just a bit. Okay. And then you want to take a rag and just blend it in. Do you see how it changes that look? And then just keep going. You want to do the entire chair that way. You want to get the grooves in as well because that's what gives it that nice antique look. And make sure you wipe as you go. Don't let it dry. And so now you can see the little 
the little grooves that we did with the wire brush. Do you see how it makes it look just gives it that nice weathered look. Here you have it folks, it is all done, and it looks beautiful. So when this dries all the way, it's going to be slightly lighter, um, but there you go, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you try it out, definitely tag me in your photos. Um, you can tag me on my Instagram at blessedlittlenest or comment below.